In order to grow your YouTube channel, it's very important that you have high quality content. But there's a lot of ways to do that without going out and spending a lot of money on expensive camera equipment and lighting and gear and things. There's a few things that are relatively inexpensive that you can do to increase the production value and the quality of your content. And I'm gonna show you guys how I do that with stock video photos. That's coming up. Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer and welcome to Video Creators. This channel is all about helping you guys grow a YouTube audience so you can spread a message that reaches people and changes their lives. And one of the ways I do that is by increasing the quality of my content by using stock video footage from a site called videoblocks.com. And they were actually cool enough to sponsor this video so I can share with you guys exactly how I increase the professionalism of my content using some of the assets on their website. One of the first ways you can do this is to make a really slick looking lower third if you're gonna put like text on screen or something, this is a, a good way to just bring that text to life and make it look really professional and really slick. I go to their website, I browse through all the background, like motion backgrounds that they have, and I'll find one that has like some nice motion to it that I like. I'll download it, put it into my Premiere project, and then I'll just simply crop the top and the bottom, maybe change the transparency a little bit and change the color to suit my needs and then type some text right on top, and boom, it looks like a really nice slick lower third. Way better than if I had just put text on there by itself. Number two, I sometimes use it in my family's vlogs to fill in story gaps, the story that we're telling. For example, there is one night I was in my bed just kind of talking a little bit and then I woke up the next morning and I and, and I wanted there to be some like clear indication that the nighttime had passed and that it was now morning time, the next clip that they saw. And so I simply went to video blocks, downloaded some nice stock footage of sunrise uh, coming up and like a time lapse of that, inserted that into the story and now it was clear to the viewer that this this was the next morning now when they saw the next clip. I've also done the same thing when I needed to show that we drove from like point A to point B, that there's some time in there that elapsed and so I'd go through and pick some nice uh, driving time-lapse footage as well, put that into my vlogs. There's a lot of great ways you can use that to tell your story. A third great way to use their stock footage is to use it as backgrounds. You know, so if you are gonna have like any title sequences or titles just come up on screen, you know, you can just put some of those slow motion background things there, or if you wanna tell a story visually, you could have like fields or space or skyscrapers or something with some text on top. It would also be perfect to use during your end screen. When you're wrapping up the video, you got other elements pop up that, that give people like an opportunity to click to watch another video you can use you know back motion backgrounds there or especially if you're a gamer and you have a green screen behind yourself anyway and you're gonna put yourself as your game cam into your video you could use a motion background for that also when you're just talking directly to the camera and you probably don't want to so just like the green screen right now video box isn't just about video photos though they actually have a large library of After Effects templates as well and that's exactly what number four is you can download these After Effects templates and turn them into very slick looking motion animated graphics for your branded intro. In fact, my branded intro that I use for video creators is taken from an After Effects template. All you do is just change some of the text, throw in your own logo, render it out, and boom, you get yourself a really nice looking professional branded intro for your videos. A fifth great way to use stock video photos is if you're like me and you just spend a lot of your time just standing and talking and you want something more visual to keep people's attention. You know, sometimes I will use stock video footage just to like kind of illustrate what I'm saying and hook your attention and keep you engaged better. I did this actually even in my sales video for my course, Turn YouTube Into Your Career, where I just showed a lot of video screens kind of flying by to indicate all the, the hundreds of creators and the thousands of channels that I've worked with and the creators and everything just to kind of illustrate that point in that video with that stock photos. It worked beautifully. Perhaps the best part about video blocks though is that it is very affordable. In fact, even to make it more affordable for you guys, there's a special deal for you in the description below this video here on YouTube. You and click the link or just go to videoblocks.com slash creators. And for just a limited time for you guys only, you can pay $149 and get an entire one year subscription for unlimited downloads for all the photos is on their website. Plus, they're also throwing in an unlimited subscription for free with that as a bonus to their royalty-free audio and music library called audioblocks.com that comes completely free along with your video block subscription. Unlike many other stock video footage and stock audio sites out there, once you download something from their site, it is yours to keep, yours to use forever in as many projects as you would like and as many videos as you would like. You have unlimited uses of that content once you download it and you can download 
unlimited number of times and everything from their website. It is awesome, a great deal. They have hundreds of thousands of stock video and stock audio assets across their sites. And actually this month they're doing a special thing called Creator to Creator where they're featuring a lot of videos and music from creators just like you that creators are submitting to their site for you to use in your next project. And what's more awesome than supporting other creators? So go to videobox.com slash creators today. Check out that special deal for you. See if it's right for you or not. And I'd also love to hear from you guys in the comments below about how you use stock video footage in your content to increase the professionalism, to keep people's attention, and just up the quality of your content overall. And if you want more ideas about how to use stock footage other than the ones I gave you here today, read the comments people are leaving for you down there. You're gonna learn a ton from them. Got a lot more ideas. And if this is your first time here at Video Creators, I would love to have you subscribe. This channel is all about helping you grow your YouTube audience so you can spread a message that reaches people and changes their life. Thank you for letting me and VideoBox be a small part of that. Subscribe. I'll see you guys again next Thursday for another YouTube training video. See you then. Bye.